Charlie Luxton is already privy to my heart's dear desire to have gadgets do all DIY. Ah, Andy. Andy. Nice to meet you, Richard. Anna. But for Handy Andy and Anna Ryder Richardson, veterans of the 90s TV makeover circuit, my futuristic thoughts could very well blow their heads inside out. I am going to decorate a room merely with gadgets. Don't drift off already, Andy. It's no, going to be a long excited, day. I'm excited by the thought. OK, all right. Well, do you want to come in? You're even more comely in the flesh. <laughs> Mate, I've had that before. No, I haven't. Right, this is the room I'm decorating. Gather in. Huh. Andy, I sense rapport building between us. I want uh, to paint this wall. Yeah. How would you do that? Uh, roll on a brush, I suppose, isn't it? You sicken me. <laughs> Behold my Thanuk. Engage the robot arm. <laughs> This robotic Goliath, otherwise known as the Fanuc M10 AI, was made in Japan and plies its trade in car assembly plants around the world. See, look, that's three coupes now, so that's quite good. <laughs> I've had it fitted with this paint spraying gun and, for today only, it's here at Gadget Man Towers helping me paint my feature wall. And this literally is watching paint dry. <laughs> better than watching paint dry. It is. There's a huge robot spraying a wall. I mean, what's not to like? It's very even, <laughs> though, isn't it? You think of all the people we've seen rolling in the past and you've got a patch here and a patch there. And... I can see the concept of it, yeah, but it's the setting it up time and all that. Andy, involved. you're breaking my heart. Why, darling? Why is that? It's just you're just so anti fanuc I didn't say that. I didn't say I was anti, did I? All right. I said I can see the concept of it. OK, we can all see good. the concept, okay. but do you like it? It might grow on me. You may be poo-pooing my fanuc, but it has painted a large area of wall in a very quick time. And I've not had to do a thing. While my robot finishes up unsupervised, I've got some other machines on the go, printing my tea party knickknacks to order. These are 3D printers. They are printing items for the tea party. <gasps> no. That are They're printing cool, designs. Have you seen that before? Yeah. Have but, you? But um, not as much. I feel like I'm in I the future. This feels like the yes. future. The cube can make a two-dimensional design on a PC screen a 3D reality, creating objects up to five and a half inches in size by printing layer upon layer of molten plastic. Andy, oh, speak up. Yeah, I think it's very, very clever, but the point to it is what? The point to it is that one day in the future, after the dust settles, after the interstellar war, we will all be able to download cups of various designs from sites. This is a complete revolution in the way that we make things. Up till now, we've heat and beaten and treated things. Which and is this, lovely. This is a completely new way of making. This is the future. This you is... genuinely show me something I'm really excited about. Thank you. No, Charlie. because you're Thank going to you. take Thank away. You for the you're on a computer going, what happened to big arms beating and sweating yes. and brawn? What I need is focus on gadgetry rather than something that sounded like the end of Officer and a Gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, it's on to perhaps the most reviled of all home improvement jobs, wallpapering. For decades, scenes like this have been playing out in living rooms across the land. All she has to do now is to stick it on the wall. What a mess. Wallpapering by hand is near madness, and yet no one has been able to invent a gadget to do it for us until now. We once shared a dream about a machine that could wallpaper. We discussed a wallpapering machine. And a new world that we could build on its shoulders. Wallpaper machine? Okay. Yeah? Right. Do, you okay. Want to, do you want to see it in action? I do want to see it in action. All right. That is a winner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? That is brilliant. Why well, has no one done that before? It's very flat. It's absolutely fantastic. I can't think why somebody has not invented that before. Well, thank you. 
As they plan to retire on the proceeds of this ingenious invention, my engineering staff has asked me not to reveal its exact machinations. All I will say is that wallpaper is pulled through a bath of adhesive and then forced flat using a series of rollers. An inbuilt guillotine is the final touch. Now, how does it work then? What's involved in it? It's at that point we part company because my engineering staff will not reveal the secret until the patent is lodged. The wall is covered with paper, but before we can take tea, we must furnish, and furnish furiously. One of the greatest fears in organising a tea party is having to build your own furniture. <laughs> but I don't have to do that because I have this. Look at this. Tray. It's one sheet, and I can make a chair from this. Have a look. The inventors of these flux chairs took their design inspiration from hooligan-proof football stadium seats. Made from a single sheet of plastic, they simply fold together and boom! The job is done with the minimum of effort. Bending it the wrong way. Which way should it go? Bend it round. Or at least, that's the theory. It's like having a class of children. The back's coming. Oi! <laughs> Just get it ready. DIY quickly. people. Oh. <laughs> ah, lovely. Do you want to see a table that moves on its own? Yes, please. OK, let's go. If you push there, straight through... <laughs> there we go. I love that. That is good. Yeah. Designed by Dutch visionary Walter Schublin, this ingenious table is one of only eight that exist. Why would you want a walking table? Why wouldn't you want a walking yeah, table? Yeah, exactly. Andy, take it for a little walk. I'm detecting a dangerous seam of negativity. <laughs> 